over you and Derek get pretty physical. Uh, did he ever, for real, try to test the strength with you? That dude, he, no, he did. But that dude is stronger than a freaking bull. Not. He's a, uh, we're about the same height, but uh, he's a little bit leaner than I am. That guy is a monster. And the cool thing also is he is a talented fighter because we were when we were fighting. And we were going at it and thrashing each other. He's and he was, he's too trained. Yeah, he totally does, yeah. He, he does a kickboxing and some other stuff, but he's... I mean, I can take him, but he trains. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> you guys haven't seen me tonight. <laughs> I remember you doing that on set, too. Like, after your one scene, like, come, uh, confronting Jared, you came over and what the hell, man? That guy is huge. No one's going to believe that. I'm, why am I fighting? I'm picking a fight with this monster. I have to be intimidating to a guy that's just so much bigger than me, I have to look up at him, so... But you know, I did it, I did it, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it looks like I take another one. And, uh, let me ask you this, because I remember when the film first came out. Uh, access and all that, we showed you guys out on town as a group. And there's a chemistry there that makes me feel like it's a damn shame you got killed because you guys just seem to click. Is it? Uh, how was it on set? It seems like you guys uh, have really kind of bonded. We bonded. Uh, it, it happened. We, we shared a trailer and we actually shared the same hotel room. So we shared the same bed. Um, so we, got, <laughs> we didn't do it. We didn't do it. Um, but professional. For two months, if you do that, you get close to someone. No, um, it, it's, it's, it's weird. I, I myself have never been closer to a cast before. We all still stay friends. The, the, actually, the entire cast on Thursday got together in, in Hollywood. They're, hey, we're having another reunion, our monthly reunion. Let's go to this place and have a party. To this day, no job. I, I have yet to stay in touch with as many people as on this job. We had a great time. We were there for two months in Austin, and Austin is such an awesome town. So I think it was just a very easy place to bond. There's a lot of bars. Oh, like, God, yeah. You never know, you know that the bonding experience you have when you carry a, a guy you just met uh, home because uh, he's incredibly drunk and you're not going to say who, but when you carry him and drag him and put him to bed, like, hey, nice to meet you. Pretty great. You have a bonding experience and you, it's a special moment. Well, the one, one good thing I will say about Andrew and Brad, the producers, is they got us there a week beforehand and they, would, they wouldn't make us go out to dinners with each other, but they, they basically had situations where we all had to hang out. So they, they kind of in a way, forced us to have the chemistry right away. And in doing that, we just, it just worked, it just clicked. You know what's crazy, a little weird story is uh, John Lindsodowski, who plays uh, the Wade character, the first yep. guy to get killed, oh, yeah. under the glasses, who finds the pot. Crazy man. When I first met Jonathan, we were at a sushi bar, and we sit down, he has this incredible energy, he's a hilarious cat. He comes over, he's like, holy fuck, holy fuck, you're, dude, you're, you're, you're playing Jason, what's up, man, what's up, dude? We are going to be best friends. We are going to be fucking friends. And I'm like, holy fuck, who is this dude? No, so, dude, after the film, we are hanging out. We are going to hang out. And that's good. That's a really good impression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty solid. close. And to this day, uh, we, uh, we're really good friends and we hang out now. So I think the moral of the story is we like somebody. Just call it. Make it happen. Be aggressive with your friends. Hopefully. <laughs> Someone's going to do that later on. We're gonna walk over to the Kelly LeBrock's table. Kelly LeBrock, you and I are friends from now on. <laughs> I am stalking you until we're friends. <laughs> you arrested. And we return to the question. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Who has one for us? It's like part question, part show. Yeah. Come on. Well, you don't have to. We, we can make stuff Seriously, up. Seriously, we're gonna hear. You guys be coy for a while and maybe look them up with we something. Have Come on. 30 minutes. We'll just sit in silence if you guys don't talk. No, <laughs> um, you're like the camaraderie here. Question for both of you. I'd like you each to just tell us what your favorite part of the movie was. There you go. Actually shooting it or, or watching it with the final product? Either one. Whatever. I'll, I'll tell you my favorite part. Uh, it was, I hadn't shot anything yet. I was, they were testing out my, uh, my death rig. Um, so I'm on set. They're doing some stuff. <laughs> Sorry. You know what I'm doing. Shut up. Um, and I was on set, they were testing me out. Derek had uh, a scene with, uh, with Ben Feldman, where he had basically put the machete through his head. And I, I hadn't seen him in his getup yet, and I just remember the first thing that I saw was him with his hand, or I'm sorry, with his foot, the machete in his head. And that's the first sight that I had, and it was, it was one of those, holy shit, 
moments of I can't believe I'm shooting Friday the 13th. And it was, it was, it was just a great way to start off being there because the excitement, the energy, everything was just, everyone was so pumped to be doing it and it, it definitely, uh, it's pretty rad. That scene was pretty crazy too because when we were doing it, I was like, hey Marcus, uh, the director, uh, very rambunctious German director. Huge legs. Uh, muscular. <laughs> muscular legs. <laughs> he always wears shorts. He's a great guy. <laughs> we, uh, for the shorts. scene, I was like, hey, what if, you know, for more emphasis, what if I put my foot on it and, like, you know, I push him off with my foot afterwards? And Mark said, yeah, yeah, Derek, I like that a lot. Yeah, do, wait, wait, just, no, no, just, just put it on his face. Just kick him in the face. <laughs> push him over. No, we can, we can it's like, let's roll. So nobody gets hurt, you know. So no, no, just do it. You let it flow. Kick him in the face. And Melvin was looking at me like, what? <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah, oh, Marcus is so great. He gets so excited about what he's doing. I love it. So good at impersonating. <laughs> oh my God. What else you got in your belt there? I don't, I don't what know. What else can you do? Um, you can do a Nick Minnell. Come on. No, okay. Nick Minnell. It's hilarious. Uh, Nick played Mike in the, in the movie. Uh, he was the tall guy, the kind of the curlier hair. He got dragged to the floor. He was supposed to be here this weekend. For those of you who don't remember, there's a big on, ongoing joke because Amanda, Rigetti, and myself had the longest uh, shoot days. We were there the longest shooting, and uh, on paper. But what happened was Nick had like, the smallest part in the film, but he was ended up being there as long as we were, like even longer. Is there longer than me? So we would go out and do some scenes and. He would be, you know, stuck at the hotel, and so the, the impression we made of Nick, not doing an actual impression, the impression of Nick is this. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'd, you'd show up, you know, you'd work like 16 hours, you're a dead dog tired, you know, and you'd show up, go to, go to dinner, and Nick would come out, Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, you want, you want to talk about something? You want to hang out? And we're like, dude, we just worked all day, but he's been by himself, like, locked in a, you know, prison, and it's horrible, horrible. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, this is for both of you. Um, looks like you guys enjoyed making the movie so much, but have you guys had any negative things about the film and fans at all? You know, anything negative happened? My life has been threatened six times. Really? Yeah, for my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like the sex scene. <laughs> Luckily, she hasn't killed me yet. Um, wait, you didn't answer her question about your favorite experience. Oh, oh, geez. or did you? I didn't. You didn't. Sorry, you I was ranting again. Ranting again. See, sorry. But you're, you're and, 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 I'll go back over. You do that one on this one a second. At the same time? Yeah. Have you come with fans at the same time? Wait, okay. ready? Okay. And um, the go. I really freaked out. The part I came over. I was going to go negative. I was going to jump in the beginning. But I think it would probably be the narrative. Question? <laughs> oh, the been negative experiences. Um, no, 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 no. Your favorite experience. I just gave my favorite experience. I didn't hear it. So, <laughs> ready? <laughs> We're not going to do that again. I'll tweet you later about it. <laughs> I just said. Oh, I said. Did, did you hear it? Did, did you hear Can it? Can I so, help? Say it again. Quickly. Come on. And <laughs> uh, mine was like watching the film, not because it was me, but the part where I raced in and went over top of uh, not Rika, uh, Amanda and hit Ben Feldman in the head with a machete. I'm like, oh, shoot, that, that was me. Well, that was cool. I guess it's kind of works. I freaked myself out. Uh, but I really like the scene with Aaron Yu, like the kill, like the slow, kind of saving private Ryan, pulling him in. You know, I like that scene a lot. I mean, I like the boobies. Those are awesome. <laughs> what was your question again, sir? Any negative experiences? Negative experiences. Uh, I ran my face into a tree. Oh, that's true. Uh, well, we were out. It was the first first week. night. First night we were there. We were all everyone went out and had drinks. It was fun. And my friend was really he was kind of drunk, and I was making fun of him. I'm like, ah, you're so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so I ran my face. Into a tree. I had blood, like a scab, and it was a week before shooting, so I was, I was freaking out that I wasn't gonna be able to. Like, uh, um, I was, uh, at the time, tying in stories, I was carrying uh, a different cast member back to the hotel at the time. And that was when... Welcome to Texas. Jackass here was making fun of me. Where the trees are sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Mark was sharp. I just remember looking back and seeing Travis like, Ooh, totally drunk, oh, what an idiot, you're such an idiot. <laughs> 